Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the January BAM Box Horror Box. Um, yeah, it's kind of late. I actually just got it yesterday, and it's like two weeks late or so. So the U.S. Postal Service apparently messed up and had sent them some items. Well, sent BAM Box some items from uh, one of the people putting it together. I don't remember if it was art print or the pins or whatever, but um, they lost the stuff, and... <laughs> This is actually something I've been hearing happening a lot with the U.S. Postal Service recently with uh, subscription boxes having issues with, you know, getting what they're supposed to be getting or when they're sent out, like the box goes missing or whatever. Uh, there's another subscription box I'm going to be starting to do on this channel. I was going to be doing it in January, but that'll have to be delayed to February because the U.S. Postal Service lost the box straight up um, even before checking it in. So... I was in contact with the people doing it, and they were just like, sorry, we can't. So I got my money back, so it'll start in February. Anyway, uh, yes, this is a new table. Things look different, so yeah. But U.S. Postal Service aside, we're going to do this unboxing, see how it goes. Bam Horror. I think for this box, I know what the autograph is going to be, because they'll usually do like some little teasers online through their Facebook community page. Uh, and the regular uh, BAM box page. So I think I have an idea of the autograph. If I'm right, I'm going to be pretty happy with it. And I can tell you why. All right. Tissue paper for my cat. She's going to be excited about that. Sorry. I just got up not long ago, so I kind of like got sleep in my eye. Um, okay. Random. Looks like something fell out of there. So the first thing feels like it's a pill bottle. It 100% feels like a pill bottle. Prescription bottle. Uh, okay. I don't like this item. <laughs> Straight up, don't like this item. So it is. It's a pill bottle or, you know, some people put urine samples in these things or stool samples. So, um, totally random thing. And as you can see, it says Valley Drugs. Nancy Thompson, these are drugs for sleep, and Dr. England, which I guess this is a reference to Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Robert England being Freddy Krueger, and this is, I don't like that, hate that item, that item sucks. Alright, so the next thing feels like a piece of like sculpted clay or something um it's really heavy actually Let's see oh oh this is well done this looks really good so this is a pazuzu head people who would uh recognize this would recognize it from the exorcist movie you know the the great evil pazuzu sorry the lighting keeps getting a little weird so you know it's heavy like, it's nice. It's well done. Okay, I like that. Um, I'm not actually, I don't actually want to put that. That's probably where this came from. I don't want to put it on the new table because it's kind of sharp. So, But um, but that's, I mean, if you're going to get a, like a, a prop replica, that's actually a good one. Not this. That is a bad one. So, um, Pin. Everyone knows I love the pins. Oh, the... Uh, they changed the backing on it. So this one is, oh, that's really cool. Limited edition enamel pin. Um, Salem's lot, did I get a one up? It says, this may just be like the way they're changing it for like all the backings to say limited edition. And this might not be like one of the one out of 250s or whatever, but Salem's lot. Once again, their pins are always really good. Yep, this is the vampire. Full disclosure, I haven't actually seen Salem's Lot, unfortunately, or read the book. It's on my list. I mean, to get to it. I'm curious, though. I want to see if there's a number on the back of here. Like, out of... No, there's not. So, as I assumed, this is one of the normal ones for the box. So, good pin, as usual. The pins are always solid. No one of the reasons I keep getting this. So, the next thing might be the art print... Yes, art print is by Steve Jenks, and it is, what is it? 
I'm trying to figure out what this is. Oh, this must be from Insidious. Because I recognize the woman in it. So this is number 230 out of 1500. They must have done like two different prints or something. If you guys can see. Let me get rid of some. Ooh. The glare is really bad. I'm sorry. There. You can kind of see it. Right there. I'm sorry. I'm not big on the Insidious films. I actually really don't like them. Oh, it, there's a key on a finger here. That must be from the newest Insidious then. That I, it was in theaters. I did not see that one. I have, I saw the first two. I'm not a big fan of the of the movies. Um, just in general, when it comes to horror, I'm not big on like haunted house or like haunting movies. I'm more into like serial killer or you know supernatural type killer like Phantasm, you know stuff like that. So it's just my just my preference. And then there is, I believe this this must be the autograph. Yep, it's the autograph I thought it would be. Oh, thank. Thank goodness. Okay, so the item was supposed to be from the film American Mary by the Sasuke sisters. And I was wondering, I was just like, I hope it's not just like a glossy from like the movie, like that, that doesn't show them. Because they, the two of them, if people don't know who they are, they're twin sisters who direct horror films. And they do a good job. And they're very, very enthusiastic about horror in general, like very enthusiastic. So I was just hoping that that you would actually get pictures of them signed because they're kind of iconic, especially right now. They're really on the rise in the horror industry. So yes, it is the Sasuke sisters. It's uh, Sylvia and Jen Sasuke. This is cool because actually I was at a horror convention kind of recently, um, actually just last year, not even a full year ago, and they were there, and I considered getting their autograph, but because of who else was there and my budget for it, I didn't end up getting their autograph, but I was in the same room getting autographs from other people, and they were just like, seemed like the nicest freaking people in the world. Like, they were taking a lot of time with each fan that came up to them, they were signing everything that person wanted, they were like very excited to meet people, and they just seemed like really solid people. So... This is awesome for that reason. I kind of wanted their signatures or autographs. And uh, yeah, this is a good one. This may, mm, this is going to, I think, probably the best one thus far for BAM Horror. Um, that's really good. I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. And then it looks like there's, oh, they're doing a one sheet now for all the stuff instead of like a booklet or the online. They tried doing the online, and I know I was showing people on my phone through these videos which a lot of people didn't like that when they want something physical, so they, they're now doing like a compromise and doing like one sheet. So um, so they just kind of say that it's a dual autograph, basically, and be on the lookout for one-ups. But yeah, so nothing, nothing huge. Uh, oh, the, so there were two different versions of the autograph that you could have gotten. I kind of wish I got the other one because I've seen this picture of the Sasuke sisters before. And that one's my favorite. Let me show you. If you can really see. See them like covered in blood. Yeah. I mean that one's still cool. Because it's actually, I believe, actually from the movie American Mary. This was just kind of like a staged photo that they've done together. Um, but the covered in blood thing is pretty cool. Then they had the uh, Insidious fan art. And there was an exclusive print. I guess the exclusive one was the like bluish greenish grayish tones instead of the one that I actually got and then they had the Pazuzu am amulet replica okay um, Nancy's replica hypnosil prop pill bottle from Nightmare on Elm Street 3 um, okay uh, I don't need to show you those because you already saw them uh, the Bambox pins which the limited edition ones were pretty cool. Um, obviously this is the one that I got. This is out of 250, that one's pretty sweet. And this one is out of 50. That's really, really cool. That's a close up of the head of the vampire. So then they always do giveaways and I've known about this giveaway. I, I'm trying to win it because that'd be awesome. So a reanimator poster signed by Jeffrey Combs who played Herbert West in reanimator. I really like Reanimator a lot. I thought Jeffrey Combs did an awesome job in 
Herbert West was a really fun, cool character. So, hoping I win that, but chances aren't too good. Like, no one's chances of winning those are all that great, so. But it's cool that they do those giveaways, I will say. Okay, so wrap up. The pin's really nice, as usual. The autograph is really cool. Um, like I said, this is the best autograph they've had in the BAM Horror Box yet. Very happy with that. Um, the art print, like, the artwork looks good, so... Steve Jenks, you did a good job. It's just, I don't like the subject matter. Like, I don't care about Insidious. I might see if someone wants this. Uh, the Pazuzu prop replica from Exorcist. That is well executed. Looks good. And the Hypnosil pill bottle from Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Dumb. Don't like it. But overall, a good box. I'm always happy to some degree with these boxes, even if there are a few things I'm not huge on. Um... Bambox Horror, regular Bambox is still great. Bambox Horror, you're, you're doing really well. Uh, I'm very happy and I'm sticking with it. I may or may not stick with the regular Bambox because I'm kind of trying to like cut back. Plus, I'm like I said, I'm starting going to start another box, which is totally different. It's actually going to be a food item box. So that should be really fun. Um, but the regular Bambox I will be getting for January, that one is also delayed. That's delayed more than the Horror Box. So don't know when I'll get it. Um... I don't know, so sorry about that. But, Bambox, doing a good job with your horror box. I like it. Thank you, everyone, for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.